हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज उमाकांत वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू माय चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट शॉर्ट ट्रिक नॉट ओन वन शॉर्ट ट्रिक दिस इज सेवरल शॉर्ट ट्रिक आर दियर सो आई विल यूज ऑल ऑफ देम सो टू सॉल्व इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दैट आर मोस्टली आस्क इन गेट एंड नेट फ्रॉम सॉलिड स्टेट फिजिक्स ओके सो आई विल डिस्कस हाउ द वेरिएशन ऑफ फॉर्मी एनर्जी इज देयर विथ नंबर डेंसिटी दिस इज ए क्वेश्चन विच इज सेवरल टाइम आर्क इन गेट एंड फेस एंड नेट ऑल्सो so if you see then uh, the variation of uh, fermi energy basically you know fermi energy is the topmost field energy state at zero kelvin suppose this is like a metal like infinite potential oil so at zero kelvin the topmost field energy state is the fermi energy so this is the suppose topmost field energy state then this is will corresponding to the fermi energy state at zero kelvin this is important okay so the variation of fermi energy with number density is always like ef that is fermi energy is varying with number density that is number of particle per unit volume for three dimensional or number of particles per unit area that is in two dimension so number density 2 to the power s by d so please note this formula this is very important okay so there will be matlab you can expect uh, questions from this section okay so this n is the number density this n is the number density okay and this ef is the fermi energy this is fermi energy so this is fermi energy and this is number density so where uh, what is s so and what is d this is important so in particular uh, in case of uh, uh, free electron theory we consider the dispersion relation is quadratic in nature that means the energy is equal to p square by 2m okay and this 2 is here s that is the power of momentum is uh s that is you can say that is uh, this is like p to the power s by 2m okay so this s is 2 here and d is the dimension this d is the dimension okay suppose you are given with a three dimension uh, free electron theory so in three dimension here d will be 3 and this is free electron theory so this quadratic relation is there dispersion relation is quadratic in nature so you can use s equal to 2 okay so the variation will be ef will vary with n to the power 2 by 3 and two dimension it will be only n in one dimension it will be like n square okay so this is the thing this is the variation of fermi energy with a number density so this is important slide okay you should note this formula short tricks and uh, know how to use in different situation because question will be uh, in the different form okay sometimes they are given like ef is varying n to the power 3 and they are mentioning two dimension they will ask the uh, nature of the dispersion relation okay this will be quadratic or linear like something so this is important the concept is like this but you have to use in the according to the question okay according to the question you have to use this short trick and then move to the next uh, section this is very much important uh, so the uh, thing is how density of state is varying with energy so you know Uh, density of state is varying with energy density of t is generally denoted is as d and this varying with energy as e to the power d by s minus 1 so d by s minus 1 okay so this is minus 1 so here d is the dimension d is similarly like uh, dimension as i mentioned already and s this is the power in of momentum this is the power of a uh, momentum momentum in dispersion relation in dispersion relation that is e is equal to p to the power s by 2m okay so if free electron is mentioned then s will be 2 because uh, relation will be quadratic in nature okay so depending upon the situation what dimension is given what is the uh, dispersion relation uh, you can find the this variation of density of state with energy so you please remember the graphs like in three dimension what is the graph in two dimension what is the graph and one dimension what will the graph in two dimension if you observe for free electron theory if you consider two dimension this is important question i should mention here if you consider two dimension the dimension d will be 2 and it is mentioned that free electron so the dispersion relation is quadratic that is e equal to p square by 2m so this s will be 2 so now density of state will be varying as e to the power uh, d by s that is 2 by 2 that is 1 minus 1 so density of state is varying as e to the power 0 or you can say density of state is constant 
so in two dimension density of state is always constant so if you draw the graph between density of state and energy then this graph will be like a straight line it will constant to with respect to energy okay so this is the variation of density of state with energy um, basically a lot of students are familiar with this uh, short trick i think but those are new to this uh, short trick to, so please note it okay so this is very crucial in uh, csr net get as well as brc examination just also this variation is very important uh, then the variation of average energy with the fermi energy so if you see then the average energy like e bar will vary with the uh, uh, fermi energy like d by d plus s into ef okay so this is the relation between average energy and fermi energy where ef is the fermi energy this is fermi energy and this is e average is equal to this is average energy and you know d is the dimension this is dimension and s is the power in the momentum that is power of momentum that is energy is proportional to p to the power s by 2m and the power of this momentum is s okay so depending upon the situation you have to choose this s or it will be given if the electron is mentioned so no doubt you have to take s as 2 because the dispersion relation will be quadratic in nature so this variation is important also i have to mention here that the cv that is specific heat at a constant volume is always vary as t to the power d okay entropy also varying as t to the power d by s so these are the important relationship so uh, these are very crucial uh, you have to uh, uh, recognize this hot tricks and uh, use of this hot tricks according to the questions frame or like the given question so i have to uh, I have to say this, uh, these are the important portion uh, from free electron gas theory but there are several important portion are there from solid state physics so I will make a video on that I will upload it by tomorrow so uh, the solid state physics is playing a crucial role okay lot of students are uh, leaving this portion they don't uh, study condensed matter solid state physics but this is very crucial role in order to score something uh, like more plus 5 mark or, or 6 mark in this section so this is important i think uh, you you got some point uh, from my video thank you for watching my video and uh, though i request uh, to those new uh, those are new in my channel so please subscribe my channel like my video and share my video if you are thinking this video is important for you so thank you so much